We are back live for match number three for the day. This is uh, going to be match number 35 in all in this fan code Emirates D10 2024 powered by seven districts. It's going to be Sharjah versus Abu Dhabi. Two teams sitting among the top three and are looking very comfortable out there. Although Abu Dhabi lost their last outing the first game of the day today. Yeah, he was uh, the player of the match yesterday, but handed it over to Basil Hamid, who won that game for their side. First ball, not comfortably hit, but still got enough bat on it, Khalid Shah, to take it to the boundary. First ball, four. And bowls those Yorkers perfectly. He's done that in the ILT20 as well. This time, he gets hold of it, and it's gone the distance. Khalid Shah has been in good nick throughout the tournament. Short delivery swatted away, and that will be a boundary. So Nurullah has opened his account. It's 15 without loss. And this time he goes up and over. He will clear the infield, and a mistimed shot will go to the boundary for a four. This floating power play usually goes against the batters sometimes. And this is played very straight down the ground. Nicely done. It was not a great delivery. Six runs and three deliveries, and that is... Once again, a full toss. Oh, that was very close and no attempt by the fielder in deep. And to add salt to the wounds, that is going towards the boundary. Just the 10 runs. Pulling those block holes, slashed away, slashed hard. And that's going towards the boundary as well. Since making his comeback for the side. This time, Khalid Shah goes big. I think he's got the connection as well. This will go the distance. It does. Six more to Khalid Shah. I think Khalid got stuck to it. This is outside off and he has played it up and over. A couple of bounces and it will trickle away to the fence for four more. It was in the slot, mind you, for Khalid. This time he picks it up on the leg side. Fine leg has no chance and this will also go for a boundary here. 15 of the over already. Last ball to go and that four brought 50 up for uh, Sharjah as well. Make that 56 now on board with that four coming in. A very expensive over. 19 of it comes to an end. And finish. Look at that. That's beautiful. Abdullah Kayani has changed his stats. And how Shah walks back. Well, after five games, he's finally got his rewards and he's picked up a huge scalp. Khalid Shah, who's looking very dangerous in the middle, played a gem of an innings. 41 in just 18 deliveries with 6 fours and a couple of maximums. 60 for 1. Zubair Khan lofted towards that wide-ish long off and has that hit the fence on the full. What a tremendous strike by young Nurullah. Oh, he's lofted this straight. And that is a tremendous blow over long on. Uh, he's a very useful cricketer. It's been the day for the young batters today at the D10. Crash through extra cover and give it up. That's a scorching drive from Nurullah. Another high class shot. Oh, that's brilliant. Up and over fine leg, back to back boundaries. That's, that was the thing I was talking. Oh, he's lofted it straight. It's a mighty hit for six. Wow. They need about 15 to 20 runs from this over. He's gone straight up, extra cover settling and taken. So disappointment for Nurullah Ayubi. He played so well, just one hit away from a 50 and he's holed out. Taking it well away from him, wide of off stump, slow in pace and that top edge nicely pouched there by Zubair. The left arm orthodox spinner takes the catch. But Nurullah Yubi has played a very impressive knock, striking at 200 with two sixes and six fours. He goes for 48. It's 108 for two. Beautifully manipulated over third. Chirag Suri unleashing. Loose delivery. Meanwhile, final delivery of the innings. Pulled away. And that's gone over square for six. Putting the exclamation mark on the innings for Sharjah. They are expensive here.
people like Zahur Khan, Janet Siddiqui. We'll continue with that thought. Look at that, how pacey that first ball was. Alishan Sharfu rarely gets late on a shot. That deserved a player of the match award. Rohan has hit this well. This is up in the air. Couple of bounces. Got into position really quickly. Read the bounce as well. To his partner. This is played up Ishli. And beautifully, right from the middle of the bat. This is the kind of form three in the points table. That's hit him in the ribs here. And a direct hit as well. This might be very, very close. I have a feeling Rohan will keep walking here. Got himself into a great position. Have a look at that one. Followed him into the ribs. Rohan was struggling. Terrific throw. Uh, he's gone. Oh, will he? He's almost nearing the rope there. It will be touch and go. Not given it yet. He's given it now. And Rohan Mustafa is already back in the pavilion when he gave it out. So 1.2 overs and you can be a great fielder. This is up in the air. This might be wicket number two. It is Abu Dhabi in trouble here now. Uh, this is high class bowling. At express pace, he bangs one in and gets that steep bounce. Top edge and a simple catch for Nurullah Yubi. Sharjah are on top here. Two inform openers. Dismiss one got run out. It was Ali Abid, not Ali Shan Sherfu. But a big wicket here. 13 for 2. Farhan will continue. And he's gone big. What a sound it made off the bat. It's gone the distance. And to add insult to injury, it's a no ball. He's given away 20. Last ball to go off is over. And this is up and over. It will go one bounce into the fence. So good finish to the over. Required run rate already up to 14.2. And that's nicely played. Waited for it and played it in the gap. So it's not just brute power from Alishan. He can play those sh touch shots as well. Well played. Two quickest 50s of the tournament to his name. And this time he makes room and goes through the offside again. In front of the square. Most runs scored in this tournament. And most sixes hit as well. This has been picked up on the leg side. And will go the distance. That's pure timing from Alishan Sharfu. 15 runs per over. Crashed over the covers and it, will, and it will beat the sweeper cover as well. A much needed boundary for Abu Dhabi. Only seven runs conceded. Lofted straight and Ayan Afzal Khan takes the catch. And there you go. The killer blow has been struck. That is a massive blow. Ali Shan Sharfu got that from the middle of the bat. And no elevation whatsoever. Ayan Afzal Khan, a safe fielder. He is not going to drop that. A good innings by Alishan Sharfu, but his presence was required in this game. He has to go out scoring 33 and 19 with three maximums and two fours. Abu Dhabi, 54 for three. Nadeem looking to get going. Edged and taken. Beautiful delivery from Rohit. And another one bites the dust. Perfect delivery, short of the land, just lowering his pace, the ball holding up into the wicket and easy catch behind the stumps. Khalid Shah has taken that cleanly. Another wicket falls down. Nadeem, a destructive batter, couldn't really get going. Not a very good tournament for him. Couldn't contribute once again. Just scored two in three deliveries. Abu Dhabi in a lot of trouble, 57 for four. Will it beat the long on? Yes, it will. Clean strike from Osama Hassan Shah. Versus Fujaira. Top edge. Over the keeper. Over the short third. Well, they'll take it however they come. Top edge on the pull. Just over the fine leg. They're riding their luck at the moment, Abu Dhabi. It's another boundary. Good looking pull shot. And it will beat the square leg this time. Much needed boundary for Kamranata. Oh, full toss. Carved over point. And that will dribble away for four. Taken on the full towards square leg. And six. Hang on. OS Ali, hang on. <laughs> a tremendous bowler. Well, he's like a cheat code, isn't he? Crashing drive. 
still cut off and that seals the deal. So Sharjah beat the capital side by 14 runs and maintain their top spot on the D10 points table. A tremendous bowling performance. <laughs>